A message out there to every hammock-loving American, go f*** yourself. That's right, go f*** yourself. You think you're a big man, huh? You think you're a big person? You think you're a big human being, huh? Sleeping in your hammock while the sun is setting in your beautiful temperate house, in your beautiful temperate lawn. I don't know what seasons are. I live in a state where I can just sleep in a hammock all day. Does it matter? Sunrise to sunset. I have two wonderful trees in my yard that I can put a hammock between. Is it a bed? Is it a swing? Is it a beautiful mixture of both? Explosion sound effect. A creation of nature, man, and God? Well, guess what? Some people don't have two perfectly placed trees in their backyard. Some people don't have hammock stakes to put outside and stake their hammock. And don't you dare call me unhinged. I'm mad about hammocks, damn it. I'm not a door. You can't hinge me, mother I'm not a door. Hammocks are interesting, right? They're they're so neat. They're 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 suave. They're wonderful creations, right? Well, then why don't I have a backyard where I can place a hammock? I don't have hammock money, do I? Oh, you come home from your nine to five, big guy, huh? Big guy. Oh, you're under six foot three, so you can fit in a hammock, huh? Big guy, huh? Big guy. Well, I'm gonna cartoonishly take your hammock and swing it around and around and around and around and around until you're wrapped in that hammock cocoon. And guess what? Unlike a caterpillar or a, a like a, I was gonna say a wasp because I was thinking of bee drill. Well, guess what? Unlike a cocoon in which a caterpillar beautifully emerges as a wonderful butterfly, maybe a monarch butterfly, you will emerge nothing but the viscous fluids of the zero-G forces that my body will put your body through if you sleep in that goddamn hammock taunting me. No, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, well, <laughs> I love sleeping in my hammock. It's so comfy. Yeah, everybody loves hanging out, seeing me in my hammock, taking pictures of me in my hammock. I don't care. 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 Guess what? Silent treatment. It work yet? No? Good. I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Not even mad about your hammock. I'm not, not even, even mad, mad that you can fit in a hammock. I'm not even, not mad. even mad that you don't have any bees or wasps attacking you while you're outside. Lackadaisically laying there with your copy of Infinite Jest and your wine glass. Oh, so full of a beautiful fine port as you laze your day after your hard hitting job all day away. I'm not, I'm not even, even mad. I'm not even upset. I'm not even a tiny little iota of angry that you get to sleep in your hammock, make love Love in your hammock. Love making your hammock. I'm not thinking about hammock sex at all. I'm not thinking about the possibility of it. I'm not thinking about any kind of, of activities I could do in the hammock, like lunges, <clears throat> like jumping jacks. I'm not thinking about any of that. I'm not thinking about any activities I could do in a hammock because I don't even want a hammock. I don't even want to own one. Those things are death traps, I tell you. Death I'm not even mad. Traps. You're gonna die in your hammock. I'm not even and mad. Nobody's gonna be upset about it. not even me. Not I'm not even, even me. Mad. And I'm gonna come to your funeral and I'm gonna pick up your casket. And I'm gonna put in a hammock and I'm gonna make sure that I sleep your dead body away left and right and left and right. And I'm not even mad or I'm upset about it in any single possible way. I've never been mad about hammocks in my entire life. And I'm proving that right here, right now by making an entire video dedicated to how much I don't care about you and your hammock. Well, guess what? I do care. That was a lie. That was a trick. It was a fool's trick. You knew I was angry the whole time. You knew I was upset. You know I'm mad about hammocks, goddammit. Why don't you just sleep in your bed? Why don't I get a lawn chair, right? Why don't I get a freaking lawn chair? Sit outside in a lawn chair. Sip on a coconut filled with pina colada. Sleep in your lawn chair, why don't you? Big guy, big person, huh? Thinking that you're better than me because you got a hammock because you have two perfectly placed trees and two hammock stakes? Or maybe you got your tree and then you got a deck and you put the hammock between the tree and the deck, a beautiful fusion of wood and man-made wood, which is also just wood. Right there, your, your, your rising swing bed, huh? Yeah? Yeah, you th big guy, huh? You think you think you just can sleep in there all day in your own property, on your own property, without me noticing, without my jealousy, rising to a critical moment, releasing maximum pressure from my body until I'm red in the face, screaming here online about hammocks. This is what you've done to me. This is what you have turned me into. You've turned me into a hammock hater, an HH, and I don't want to be an HH brother. I want to be a hammock lover, an HL brother.
I want to be a lover of swing bets, a beautiful, a wonderful, nature-loving guy, but I just can't do it. One, deathly allergic to bees. Two, too big for a hammock. And three, I'm really afraid that some neighborhood kids are going to jump over my fence and start pushing me in the hammock and start swinging me around until I, like I said I was going to do unto you, was going to turn into a bunch of viscous fluids inside the hammock. You see, I'm projecting my anger, my fear, my jealousy onto you. I'm creating a problem of which there is no existence. I'm making this all up in my mind. And I'm just thinking, why do I care about your hammock? Well, I don't even care. I don't even care who cares. I'm not even mad. I'm not even I don't mad. Even care. I don't even care. It's not my problem. I don't care. I'm not even care. mad. It's not my problem. I'm not even mad.